In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do an eye tip or a bead extension application. Here we go. So today we're going to do the bead or the eye tip application. I'm using Babe Hair Extensions, not sponsored, but I do choose this brand to use. And I like to start about two inches from the hairline or enough hair left out that you can't see the comb through that section. And that's gonna make sure that you won't be able to see the extension through the hair we are going to go through the tools that you're going to need starting with four big sectioning clips because we do want to section her off into four this is going to give us good control as we do the application my velcro grippies i don't do extensions without them a tail comb or a quick pick i am going to be using the quick pick today to show you how to use that some silicone beads and the loop tool and of course then you need some hair loading the loop tool is super tedious so it is so great that they now have the option of the preloaded loop tool with all the beads right on it ready to go so you don't have to be fumbling with beads when you run out and you have to reload mid-application it's a really great thing to have these preloaded if you don't have preloaded loop tool, it's a good idea to preload them yourself before the application. So if you do have a few of these tools on hand and get them all beaded up and ready to go, that way you don't have to stop during your application to put more beads on your tool. So once I get my babe sectioned, I'm going to go in with my Velcro grippies and these are so wonderful. You just press them up and they get rid of a lot of those little baby hairs or any little flyaways that might get tangled in the extension. And you don't want that because that could cause breakage and it's just pulling discomfort, a lot of different things there. So these are a really great way to keep all those little flyaways out of your way. I like to keep the loop tool on my arm and I put the quick pick on my pinky. Some people use it on their pointer. So we're going to slice our fur section and I'm going to take it about a quarter of an inch by a quarter of an inch. So this is the basic measurement, I guess, for where you're going to start. So a quarter of an inch wide by a quarter of an inch deep. Now, I am going to be adjusting this and you'll see why. You wanna take the piece of hair that you're going to be installing and you wanna hold it up next to that piece of hair. So we're gonna hold it up next to it and what we're looking for is density. So we want the density of each piece to be the same. So they, we want them to look like we're holding on to the same amount of hair. As you can see, as I'm holding in here, the piece that I'm installing is actually quite a bit more dense than the piece that I've sectioned out. So I am going to section a little bit bigger. Now watch this. I'm going deeper, not wider. This is to go with Babe's integrity approach. We don't want to go wide because that's going to put excessive tension on the hair. Once I get a little bit deeper, I'm going to take my piece again. I'm going to have a look. And now the densities look a lot closer. If the density of the extension is more than the density of the hair, it's going to put excessive weight on the hair and in turn it can cause some breakage. But that looks really good right there. So now I'm about a quarter of an inch wide by about a half of an inch deep and that's totally okay. So as long as you're going longer and not wider. So we're going to put the loop tool in right at the base. This is an important step. You don't want it down too far. You want it right at the base. And then I'm going to take my bead. I'm going to slide it up the loop tool and just put it right over the hair, just like that. And be sure to keep that bead up close to the scalp. You don't want it to fall down on you. So I've got it in there. And I'm going to be holding it at a zero degree elevation. So I'm showing you the lift. You don't want to lift it. You do want to keep this at zero degrees. And again, this is to make sure that you're not going to have any breakage. So I'm going to use my quick pick and just clean up any little hairs that might be in my way. Again, you don't want to snag them. This could again cause breakage. I'm going to take the end of my piece of hair and I'm going to slide it up through that bead. Now I'm going to take my all-purpose tool they just look like a pair of pliers but they are not and i'm going to make sure that the bead is in line with the bottom of that section so that bottom part line is where i want that bead to go so i'm going to slide it up into that bottom part and then i'm going to slide the hair down so that only a tiny tiny little bit is actually exposed I'm going to give it a clamp in the center and then I'm going to clamp it on either side. 
you should be able to twist it with no problem and this means it has really good flexibility so you're going to clamp it in the center both sides and then back in the center again now i am using really dark hair and dark beads obviously i wouldn't do this if it was on a client but this is really good to show you just for educational purposes you do always want to make sure that the bead is the same color as the root of the hair so if you're putting in blonde extensions but they actually have a darker root you're going to want to make sure that you choose a darker bead so that it does blend in with the roots of the hair so we're going to do it again i'm going to take the section the exact same size and i'm going to put it right next to the bead that i just put in if you've watched my video on tape in extensions where i did a full head of tape in extensions on my daughter eva you can check it out right here there is a gap between those but with the eye tip extensions you there's no gap you're just putting them in right next to one another so i've got a good grip on that hair i'm going to put that loop tool right at the base i'm going to slide one of my beads up loop it through keeping it nice and close to the base clean up any little hairs that want to get in my way insert the hair i'm going to take out my clamping tool and slide it up to the bottom of that section and then slide the hair down so only a little bit's exposed clamp center clamp both sides and then back in the center i have really good movement with this which is really good that's what we want now i'm going to show you what not to do or some common mistakes that people make and this is why maybe you've had extensions and you're like i'm not going to do that again these could be some of the reasons why so an obvious one would be just to take the wrong size section but here's one that might be a little less obvious so if you put your loop tool in down midway and then you put your bead in when you slide it up you're going to create roughing and you can see that at the base of the hair there all those little hairs that is not good that is definitely going to give you breakage so that's why it's so important to make sure that that loop tool is inserted right at the base as close to the scalp as you can get it now i'm going to show you two mistakes in one you put in your tool but you can see as i'm going here that i'm keeping the hair up so i'm going to elevate the hair so instead of doing it at a zero degree angle i have it elevated elevation is definitely going to cause breakage it's also going to cause discomfort the other thing that can happen is when the hair is inserted you think oh i'm just going to leave more of that out so that i get more longevity out of the extension that is not the case so you can see how elevated it is and you can also see now that that piece of hair is going to stick into the client's scalp this is going to be extremely uncomfortable and painful possibly so we don't want that to happen make sure that you're always putting them in at a zero degree angle so keep them as flat to the head as possible the application is super easy and the removal is just as easy so in my little tool here not only can i install them but that little circle in the middle that is going to allow me to take them out so i'm going to twist the bead up on its side so i put it inside the circle and that's going to open my bead once it's open it slides right out you never want to force the bead out so if something happens where that isn't quite coming make sure you just keep doing it until you get it never force it out or you will rip the hair out of the client's head so one more time flip it up on its side put it in the circle give it a squeeze it's going to open up your bead and it'll slide right out for you check out this video right here where i do a full head tape in application and i customize them on my daughter eva i hope you love the video thanks so much for watching and have a great hair day